So this week marks, believe it or not, one year since the World Health Organization declared a pandemic and tonight Congress is working to fix some of the damage left behind. That includes that coronavirus relief bill, which includes that popular stimulus check that many of you are waiting on, depending on also the extra unemployment as a few quick changes and quick things it has to get through. And President Biden says he will sign it as soon as it hits his desk. Lester Dewey here with us tonight to tell us when you could receive your stimulus check once all that happens. Greg and Liz, the stimulus checks will be 1400 bucks a piece and could provide $5,600 for a family of four, making less than $100,000 a year. And those checks could be here for some of you by Easter. The U.S. Is House is expected passed. to make some minor tweaks before President Biden's massive American rescue plan will be signed into law. And that means more money will soon be on its way to your bank account. It's going to be the same as last time where the rollout takes a little while. Some people will get it earlier, some people will get it later, but it is coming. Wendy Barlin is a certified public accountant. Her biggest advice for you right now in order to get your check sooner is to file your tax returns for 2020. If you have a current bank account on file with the IRS, you will get your stimulus money directly deposited into your bank account. That is the quickest and the safest way to get your money. Yeah, otherwise, they don't know where to find you. If you insist on getting a hard check, you have to make sure the government has your correct address so the check doesn't get lost in the mail. If your situation has changed from 2019 to 2020, file that 2020 tax return right away so that they can see that you made less than that cutoff for 2020 and you'll get your money. The bill extends emergency unemployment benefits, expands the child tax credit and earned income tax credits, and provides billions of dollars for rental and homeowner assistance. Congressman Garrett Graves didn't vote for the bill because he says only 8% of it focuses on COVID-19 and relief, but there are some things he does like. Additional dollars to get vaccines out there, additional funds for schools, additional funds for testing. I do believe that, that looking at targeted stimulus payments to those families that need it most. Part of the bill includes a plan to temporarily raise the child tax credit from $2,000 to $3,600 per child a year. Supporters say that could permanently change the way the country deals with child poverty. Recognizes some of the additional expenses that many of the parents uh, across America have, have incurred. A lot of the expenses they've incurred as a result of pivoting to virtual schooling and trying to manage or juggle kids at home while some of them have to be at work. As it rolls out, that is supposedly going to be prepaid, which means that you will get it this year rather than have to wait until next year when you file your tax return. Now, if you don't get your check, Barlin says to file your tax return. There is a box on there called the recovery rebate credit. You can say on there that you are eligible but did not receive your money and the government will send it to you and with direct deposit, you could receive your money in five days. Guys, 